I'll see him. It's good for the bones. I've been sitting here trying to get my laptop camera to work. I must have disabled it at some point. Must have been around the time I saw Snowden. What a world. We invent great technology and then it gets used against us. Speaking of things being used against us, look at our government. Between 1996 and 2012, there were 292 mass shootings in the world. I'm sorry, I don't have later statistics, but all you have to do is check your recent memory. Studies show that there has been a shooting in the United States once every 64 days. Those statistics are reflecting the time between 2011 and 2014. Between 1982 and 2011, there was a shooting every 200 days. So now we have a shooting every 64 days. We've moved up to the strength that allows people to say, hey, prayers and well wishes are not enough. Let's move up a little higher. Prayers are doing nothing. Prayers don't ever do anything. They make you feel good, right? As an anti-theist and a Zenist, I no longer call myself a Buddhist. It's, it's too hard, like it was being a Christian, being associated with people who were praying to spirits. Yeah, there are Buddhists that do that. And the more I learn about Buddhism, the more I move away from the actual philosophy, which is sensible, the more I'm learning about the devotional Buddhists, whose woo-woo is just as bizarre as that of the Christians and the Jews and the Muslims. So while Zen comes from Buddhism, it's a lot more empirical. And I'm an empiricist before I'm a Zenist. Anyway, have the strength to tell the truth. Prayer doesn't do anything, okay? If it does, it just proves that the new atheists are right. Christopher Hitchens, Richard Dawkins, Sam Harris. I won't go through the whole list. They point out that if prayer is real, then God doesn't care or God is inept. So it doesn't work, okay? Um, there's a shooting every 64 days in the United States. Americans have gathered the strength to say that prayer is not enough. I say prayer doesn't work. Um, between those two statements, politicians should stop offering prayers, right? Besides the fact of separation of church and state, don't tell me that just mentioning a general God separates church and state. It doesn't. It injects religion into government where it has no place. That said, we need to face government and we need to run our government better because, as I've said many times before, the government's not separate from you if you live in a democracy. Um, and other people are finally catching on to what I've been saying for 20 years. If you don't participate in democracy, at least like this, if you're not commenting and discussing, on top of not voting, on top of not contacting your senators and congressmen, you don't belong in a democracy. Go live in a dictatorship. Well, the democracy is not working even for those who are trying to do something about it. What sparked this talk today? Not the shootings. The fact that I turned on NPR, as I do every morning, and I heard the recording of a protest about the Santa Fe school shooting in Texas. And the people were talking about how they wanted to open a dialogue. Fuck the dialogue. Change your government so that it functions properly. Are you now ready to listen to me? No, but I'm going to say it again. Nothing happens in a democracy where the reins of power have been let loose by the people who had them. And the people who had them were the citizenry until we decided that campaigns could be run by private finance. I'm not going to go into a big lecture about that. You've heard me talk about that a lot. If you want to learn more about that, go to my website or do a Google search and read scholars who talk about campaign finance. But not many of them go as far as I do. And what I say is you have to make it illegal to give a private campaign contribution. We have to ban private campaign finance. You have to fund your own elections, just like you fund NASA, okay? You wouldn't send astronauts into space on the whim of the private donations of individuals. That's called private business. 
And when you decide to go with that, you take that risk. But you can't run a state on the whim of the people. Oh, wait, that's what America does. It's run on the whim of the people with the money. So you're not going to stop the school shootings unless you stop the private financing, because that will emasculate the NRA. If the NRA couldn't give any money to Donald Trump, he wouldn't vacillate like the pussy that he is. And neither would all the other politicians who vacillate on issues of moral integrity because of money. And you allow that. You alone and your brethren, I and my fellow citizens, are responsible for that. So the marching in the streets, something I don't do anymore, while effective in certain respects, just makes people look like foolish assholes. Because they're calling out to themselves, but they're not taking the steps to change the situation. We demand this, we demand that. How about you demand that you yourself start advocating the things that will work? You have to end private running of the government. And how is the government privately run? By money. If we publicly ran the government by taxes, we'd actually have a say in what happens. Just look at the campaign finance laws. Citizens United is the icing on the cake. That a corporation is considered a person. Now, I could contribute, if I were a billionaire, across state lines to politicians who I don't even have any real political influence over, except financially. America, you have allowed your system to screw you. And marching in the street and finally saying prayer doesn't work is not enough. You have to say private campaign finance isn't working unless you're part of the 1%. So if you want the school shootings to stop, or if you want sensible incarceration laws, or sensible penal laws, or you want sensible energy policy, education policy, if you want sensible foreign policy, you have to wrest control of the reins of your government. And that today means getting control of the money, which means you have to get the control of the money out of the hands of the rich. Let them spend their money where it's meant to be spent, on their lavish lifestyles, not on your government policy. So, since 1996, I'll bring you back to this point to end the video, 292 mass shootings happened in the world. 90 of them happened in the United States. Actually, since this is a 2012 report, many more than 90 of them happened in the United States. Okay, 31% of the shootings in the world happen in the United States. Okay, since 1996, how many shootings have they had in Australia? Mass shootings? Zero. Why? They banned the guns. You can't ban the guns, the assault rifles, as long as the money that runs our politics is coming from the people who are making money on guns. It's always going to be the same. You're not going to have sensible government policy in America and people are going to start doing what I did. They're going to move to countries that are sensible, right? Because they're going to give up. I didn't give up on the government. I gave up on the people because the people in America don't change their minds. So I came to Japan where they have sensible education policy. They have sensible foreign policy. They have sensible domestic policy, energy policy, sensible infrastructure, and they don't have people walking around with guns. I have this much of a chance, or maybe, maybe one half of 1% chance of being shot in Japan, right? There's also no terrorism because they have sensible immigration policy. I don't know if they have a lot of private campaign finance. They just happen to be sensible people. So even the rich people don't want to fuck up their country. But in America, the rich people want to fuck up the country because America is a selfish place. America is basically the founder of Darwinian capitalism, right? It's gotten so bad that we just think that's the way things should be. I should screw over my neighbor. I should fight with the guy on the road over a traffic incident. It's a hostile place. And the only way you're going to take the hostility out of the politics is to take the money out of it coming from the rich. Ban private campaign finance. Then you won't have to pretend that prayer kind of works in stopping school shootings. And now Americans are finally saying that it doesn't work enough. Well, I'm telling you, prayer doesn't work at all. You need to actually be a responsible adult, and you need to advocate sensible policy. And the first thing you need to do to advocate any sensible policy is to get the money out of the government. You need to finance your own politics, and then you'll have democracy again. Because now you don't, and that's why you have school shootings. Period.